Hey guys, Katie Huller here with KidsCanReadAndWrite.com. Today I want to talk to you about the difference between E and I. I notice a lot of kids are getting these mixed up. They can't really hear if it's E or I. Now, sometimes this has to do with whoever's calling out words for them. If you don't pronounce your words correctly, for instance, if you're saying with, but you say with, well, it's going to sound like the word with has that E in it. But if you say it correctly, with, with the I, then your kids are more likely to hear that it has the I sound. So, if you're trying to help your child learn how to spell, make sure you're saying your words correctly. If you have any kind of an accent, make sure you're learning how to make those sounds so that your kids can differentiate between the E eh sound and the I eh sound. Okay, two different sounds. Make sure they sound different. Now, the way I like to help kids remember the E eh sound is, this is Granny's ear, and this is her hand around her ear, okay? So when you see that ear with the hand around the ear, I want you to say, eh, eh. That's a granny. She can't hear very well, so she says, eh, eh. Now, if you can't really tell what I'm saying, think of an egg that just got cracked. Say the word, egg and hear that eh at the beginning. Make sure you're not saying ig. Make sure it's eh. Or you could think of this as like the elephant's trunk, right? The e is the eh sound for elephant, okay? So that's really important. First, you want to make sure you know this is eh, like either granny, eh, eh, or that egg getting cracked, egg, or the elephant shrunk, okay? Whereas this one has the ice cream falling off. And what do you say when ice cream falls off and splats on the ground? Icky, it's so icky, right? We're going to say I for that ice cream falling off the cone otherwise known as the letter I, okay? So we have E eh for E, and we have I, eh, kind of scrunch up your nose if you need to, I eh for the I. Make sure you have these sounds right. And when you call out words, make sure you're making the right sound for the letter you want your child to write. So let's practice. Let's say, and if you want, kids, you can grab your pencils and papers and write with me. But let's practice. So I'm going to call it a word, and you're going to decide how to spell it. Sound it out and listen. Is the vowel an E? Are you hearing E? Eh? Or is the vowel an I? Are you hearing I? Eh? And parents, listen and see if you can call out the words correctly when you call them out. Okay. So let's say the word is went. I went to the store. Notice when I'm calling out the word for new writers, I'm going to really emphasize the sounds. Went. See if you can spell it. All right. So I'm going to go what? Eh. Do you hear who it is? Eh. Went. That's granny. When. T. When. T. I went to the store. Okay? Let's try another. How about sit? Sit in your seat. Sit. Can you spell sit? Give it a try. Let's see. I, who is that? I, that's the ice cream falling off. S, I, t. 
And when you're helping someone spell, make sure that you're going back and helping them see what they spelled. You don't want to just say, no, it's not set, it's sit, or no, it's not whatever, it's whatever. They don't know what that is. Make sure you're pointing. Look, you have sit, sit. And you're going from that beginning to the end, showing them how these words are actually put together. That's going to help a lot. All right, let's try another. How about hid? I hid in the closet when we were playing hide and go seek. Hid. How would you spell the word hid? Listen to it carefully. Hid. See if you can spell it. All right, so when we sound it out, we have our huh. Nice, tall, H, short, huh, huh. Eh, which letter is that? Eh, do you see my nose crinkled? Eh, that's the I. Huh, eh, Now, this is a letter a lot of people get mixed up because D's and B's and P's and Q's all kind of look similar. When you want a D, make sure you start with the da 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 daddy's face. You can draw him right there, okay? And then you keep going the way you, wherever you'd write your next letter, that side, and draw a ladder for him to climb up. It's like his ladder. That's a D. Hid, hid. All right, who's getting these right? Are you hearing the difference between the E eh and the I? It's really important. Make sure your kids can hear the difference. Make sure you pronounce them so that they can hear the difference. Let's spell another. How would you spell get? This one's misspelled so often. Let's practice. Get. There is no get. Okay, don't spell get. Make sure it's get. Get. Some people will say get, 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 but that's kind of a southern slang word. It's not a real word, okay? So when you hear get, make sure you actually spell get. How would you do it? Well, let's sound it out. Ga. Put that tail down. Curl it under the girl's chin. So the ga 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 girl is the j j is the g one. Um, sounds like j, right? G. When you say g, it sounds like j, but g says ga. And the ga 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 girl is what we want to think of. So we draw her face, just like we started with daddy's face before. But the ga 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 girl has long hair and she curls it under her chin. Okay? That's different from a cue because we draw the qua 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 queen's face first for a cue. We'll give her a little crown. And then her hair goes straight down like that. Or if she wants to be really fancy, she'll curl it away from her face because she doesn't want it to tickle her chin and make her laugh, okay? So that's how you can tell the difference between the G ga for girl, she curls it under her chin. Girls like to laugh, giggle. But the qua 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 queen is gonna curl it away from her face because she doesn't want it to tickle her, or, you know, make her laugh or anything when she's speaking with all the people. So. All right, so we've got ga. Now, what did you put for the rest of it? Ga, et, get, ga, et. All right, did you get the e there? I hope so. Good job. All right, so so far, let's read what we've written. W, and, went, s, it. Sit, huh, id, hid, g, et, get. Let's write a few more. We'll practice a little bit more together. All right, how about leg? Leg. I have um, a sore leg uh, from exercising too much. Leg. How would you spell leg? Okay, sound it out. Let's see. L -e -e -e. You hear Granny? Leg. So remember, when you want to g, put the girl's face 
Then keep going on this side, draw her hair. And which way does it curl? Under her chin, La egg, leg. And it's a good idea to read back what you've written after you've written it to see if you wrote what you meant to write. Because if you accidentally put an I, let's see what that would say. La egg, lig. That's not a leg, that's a lig. So we're gonna take that back out, put our eh back. Now notice when I'm writing, I have two sizes of letters. Short letters are short, tall letters are twice as tall. So it's kind of like little kids versus big kids. Little kids can only go a little bit across the street. Big kids can go all the way across. So you always want two sizes of letters. Short ones need to be shorter than the tall ones. You should be able to look and immediately tell who's tall, who's short. But we only have two sizes of letters, short and tall. So make sure you're writing accordingly. All right, let's try another. How about lift, lift? You can lift something up. All right, let's see. La. I, who says that? That's our I, I, lift. Do you know who's the, the bite your lip one? That's F, F, lift. And then we're gonna put a T, La, I, lift, lift. So you can check your work after you write it and see how you did. All right, we'll do two more. Let's see. How about um, send? Send. Can you send me a letter? Or can you send someone to the store to buy something? Send. All right, let's see if you can spell it. Listen carefully to that vowel. Make sure you get the right one. So let's start it. That's our snake. Eh, eh. Do you hear Granny? All right, Granny's short. Make sure you're making the E short. And it's very quiet and hard to hear, but it's there. Send. Now, remember with duh, what do we make first? Daddy's face. Draw it in there if you want. And then keep going. The letter should be at the end of daddy's face, not before it, not over here, but after it. So make sure when you do the stick, you do it after daddy's face. It's not when you draw it, you can't write it over here. That'd be before, even if you wrote it after. Make sure you put it after it, like if you were going to write another letter on that side. All right, so that's Send, send. All right, one more. Are you ready? Let's see if you can get it. How about, ooh, how about this one? Drip, drip, drip. All right, let's see. Drip. Now notice I didn't say dir ip. Dir ip would need an er in it because er is er, ir, or you are. But I said dr, drip, not dir ip. It's not a dir ip. It's a drip, a drip of water. Um, or I can hear the water drip, 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 drip. All right. Now, a lot of times dr sounds like dr. It's not. It's dr ip, drip. So let's see if you can spell it. All right, we're going to start with our duh. Remember, when we write a duh, we start with what? That's right, daddy's face. And which side does the ladder go on? It goes like you're writing the next letter. So come to this side and finish your D. Good. Dura. Put your r. Dura. Which one is that? Dura. 
And notice, parents, you need to be emphasizing that sound while your kids are getting used to writing them. Dura it. Notice how I go back to the beginning. Dura it. That's what you need to do for kids who are struggling to hear the sounds. You want them to see what they're doing. Dura dura it. And you can kind of point here. What do you need next? Pipa. All right, for peas, we're going to start with the pan handle. Because when you grab a pan, you want to grab it by the handle, right? Not the hot pan. Then we put the pan on the stove. So pan handle first for pea puff. Okay? Da, ra, da, ra, ip. Drip. Did we do it? Yes, we did. All right, let's read these words and see how you do with that. Ready? La, egg, leg. Notice that eh, eh sound. Whereas this one is la, ift, lift, lift, like you lift something up. This one, s, and, send, and this one. Oh, this one was like you send a letter or you send someone somewhere. How about this one? Duh, ra, dura, ip, drip, like a drip um, water when it comes down, might drip. All right, guys, so that's the difference between E and I. I hope that helped you straighten it out. I hope you can hear the difference between that E eh and the E eh now. If you need more help learning to read and write, look up our Black Belt Reading Program. You can go to kidscanonlineacademy.com or kidscanreadandwrite, all spelled out, dot com. Either place you can find Black Belt Reading, and in the Black Belt Reading Program, there are videos on everything you need to teach your child to read and write. And the videos are done for your kids so that they can learn while watching. It's like your own tutor in your own home so that you can learn at your own rate. So if you need help with that, look it up. If you have any questions, let me know.